Blessed here. I have another mini album I want to share with you that I made. Um, this one we're using again, Heartfelt Creations, because that's one of my favorite papers. Um, I've fallen in love with uh, Graphic 45 as well, but this is another Heartfelt Creations mini album. We're using the one that's called Wildwood Cottage. And instead of using the cottage as our focus, we're actually using the fairies as our focus because that's what the client was excited about. So this is the paper from Heartfelt Creations that we used. And then um, this is the base, the Flip Fold album. Um, it comes already made with your uh, pages and you just get to glue and go to town on it without having to spend two days putting your album together. So all of my albums I start out with by gluing on some ribbon on the sides here. Uh, before I even start and um, then the next day I choose what I'm going to use as my base so uh, this is uh, our front we've got some I call them bookend covers but they're just some things I found over at Hobby Lobby to protect the corners they're on the back as well and then on the end plate I have a Tim Holtz uh, and plate that I used and I used uh, one of the little fairies from inside uh, to decorate that. On the front here I have some actual bling. These are actual rhinestones that I was lucky enough to find at Michael's for a song. And then this is fabric lace. It's two inch lace that I found from Hobby Lobby. Some flowers that I crafted myself. This large one uh, is from this McGill cutter. It's actually a two and an eighth wide punch, which I've layered and used some frills on. And then these flowers, again, are heartfelt creations. It's from the small class, uh, classic petunia collection. And um, these are just paper stamens as well. Some little punches. The little fairy was just fussy cut out, and I used some hot glue underneath here to give some dimension to the wing here and this flower and then um, some of this diamond glaze which is like glossy accents and it gives a little shine to it shines up the flowers a little bit and stiffens them as well to hopefully make it a little bit less durable I mean a little bit more durable sorry um, so anyways we're going to open it up here opening the ribbon and then I'm going to lay this down so that you can see it a little better. Oh, I forgot a little something to support. Let me see if I can find something to support and not mush my flowers because the flowers, they are just paper and just like that one just got a little mushed there. Um, I don't want the ones on the front to get mushed. So you need to be careful with these things. So here's our first couple of pages says memories are forever this one says live in the moment and um, little petunias that I cut out and again using glossy accents and um, this opens it's a fold out to the side we've got a functional pocket here with a photo mat this is a very nice roomy functional pocket I could put several more photo mats in here. This right here is um, from the Heartfelt Creations delicate border uh, edges here. And um, this right here, actually, I didn't use a die on that. I just fussy cut that too based upon the curve. Here we have some photo mats with what I call tag toppers, just to add a little bit extra cute to it. Here's another one with a Heartfelt Creations border. And um, this is a Desire die here that's supposed to be a cute little gate. And then I'm just going to lay this down. Like I said, I was going to do, I'm going to lay that down. Um, this is just a cute little gate and underneath here, fussy cut one of the angels. So obviously you, know, you could put a picture in there, I suppose, if you wanted to. It'll certainly stick. Um, generally, I recommend to people to go ahead and put their picture on the back so you can 
keep the pretties showing. I'll just stuff that back in here so I don't forget where I put things. Put this one back in here as well. And well, this one goes in here. And close that. Okay, so here's the side. We have a generous pocket again. This right here, our border is made using this Martha Stewart two inch punch of which I have several. I think it's pretty hard to get these anymore unless you go on Etsy or find them used, but they are invaluable to me. Some more flowers that I made um, using Heartfelt Creations die cuts. A few um, photo mats. And uh, a little tag with some lace on it, a little flower that I stiffened up using this diamond glaze, nothing on the back so she can scribble some notes on there if she'd like. Next page over here, just side pockets as you can see. These are little wood cutouts that you can find at Michael's. They come in a package of nine. and. Um, take these little things out, little flower that I made um, to go on the tag, some fabric lace, some more tag photo mats. You see how pretty that is, see all the little angels. And on this side, again, cute little tag with lace on the bottom, photo mat, a photo mat with a cute little tag topper. This is actually a modified tag topper. It actually has one more bump, but of course my paper was narrow, so I trimmed it down. Do you need me to lift that up? There I'm, we go. I'm good. All right, so you can see some little roses and flowers that I made from the Heartfelt Creations uh, dies that I have. And then the next page, we've got some flowers that I made. Again, this is one of those McGill uh, flowers and some petunias that I made. This is using the Ariana Lace. Uh, I just use it as leaves. I think it's so cute that way. On this side we have a nice, this is kind of a, a big one. Here we have a tag, cute little bottom there. More tags or photo mats that you can put pictures on. Some roses that we made. And then um, this is just some pearls that I got over at Michael's or Hobby Lobby that I glued on. Some fabric lace. This opens to the side. Whoops, there we go. And these are, this is a waterfall. So there are nine different places here. You can put your pictures. Um, this is lace down here. A generous page for a large picture with a die cut. Then on this side, of course, is another waterfall. Stuff in there with this one. Lifts up like that. Cute little fairies. Then on to the next page. This is a little bit more extensive. I might need to hold it up just for me. There we go. So here's another uh, photo mat. And again using that Martha Stewart two inch border punch and some fabric lace down here. And of course you can put a picture right on there if you want to. It would be a nice background I think. And you lift this up, you've got a nice roomy spot for a large picture. You can put a picture on here. This folds down. This actually could become a functional pocket underneath here if you like. But it's kind of snug. You can stuff something in there if you like. Or you can just use it as decorative edging. Um, here again, another functional pocket. I think these cute little fairies, this would make a cute little bookmark, I think. Another tag or photo mat. And then this opens sideways. 
and we've got this huge this is like eight eight inches by six inches wide so that's a nice five by seven picture right here and these are all pretty much five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths pretty close to six inches so that's a good size too and then a cute little mini book you can put a wallet size photo in here or just make cute little notes make little love notes about what these pictures are about I'm just going to close this up and we'll go on to the next page. Oh, I've got to put that in. Okay, this one's a double pocket. I've seen these before and they, to me, the pockets are too big and they cover up the pretty paper. So I wanted to show off the edging here and this paper in the background. So I made these smaller. Another one of those large flowers from the McGill uh, Punch. And a couple of photo mats here. Here's a pretty little tag topper from the Heartfelt Creations collection. And so you have either side, whichever side she wants, she can put her picture on. And another larger photo mat here. So I think that's pretty just the way it is. Just stuff that right in there. Put this back in here. Then the next page is, I don't know which one's my favorite of this one. Okay, so we have our cute little fairy here with a, a corner. Yes, we, let's see, here we go. So yes, you can stuff a picture up in there if you want. You don't need to. Lift the lace up and you find that you have another functional pocket here. A nice background to put a photo here. Uh, sorry, it's slipping. Um, another photo mat. Cute little tag to make notes about what this album's all about. Another large place to either leave just as decoration or you can put pictures on there. And then when we close this, it goes sideways. Surprise! Another big photo mat, photo uh, place that, again, it's eight by five and seven eighths or eight by six photo mat functional pocket as well teeny tiny little book with polka dots because i'm cute like that the book's cute like that sorry whoops i misspoke um oh let me just stuff this in. did that go there mm -hmm. yes it did let's put that in there okay all right and then this one um this is actually from the lush lilac collection and so this one you can open and pull out many different ways. I'm just going to take a little tag. There we go. And show this here can be a functional pocket. Again, these are six by six or five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Cute little gate with a fairy hiding in there. Side pocket with a photo mat. A corner pocket up here, the photo mat, and then we pull it out and we go this direction. We've got a nice generous photo mat here, a couple of die cuts, a pretty photo mat with this corner to hold it in. And what I really like about this is you can choose. Do you want to have it where this is on the outside? Or maybe you'd rather have it that way. It's your choice. Just whatever suits your fancy that day. And then the last couple of pages here. Another one of those large flowers with the Ariana lace acting as the leaves. Another one of the Heartfelt Creations Delicate Borders. For a generous pocket and these are wide enough for probably three or four or more photo mats but I just use these um, cute little angel for the tag and photo mats photo mats Let me just stuff those back in real quick there we go 
then on the other side, same sort of thing. We have photo mats with a cute little tag and Lacey says, In fr if friends were flowers, my favorite little, um, little fairy, another fairy with a tag topper, boring little square photo mats. Who knows, you might want to put a picture of an actual boy in here, but I think this is a very cute little girl album. And that is all we have. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you to make your own.